When working with your microvellum data, one of the most important things uh, to do is to ensure that you have a current backup of the data. That way, if anything happens to your data, you're able to recover it or restore it. And that should be stored uh, in an online environment uh, off of your server in case your server hard drive crashes or something. You should have copies uh, available online as well. Uh, but today we're going to look at how to create a backup using Management Studio. So this is uh, SQL Express. Uh, there aren't any automated backup tools inside of SQL Express, uh, but you do have the ability to create a backup and then we'll look at uh, ways that we can generate a uh, backup script as well. So from here, uh, here's our microvellum factory database. If we just want to do a quick backup, we can go tasks and say backup. We can specify what folder or what file we're going to back that up to. So this is where I'm backing it up to. I'm going to do a full backup and I can say OK. So that's created a full backup. If I needed to restore that at any point, it would restore it to whatever my last backup was. So you want to make sure that you have regular backups going on. So here I'm going to go to Restore Database. And when I do that, I can see uh, the different backups that I have available. And if I look at my timeline, I've taken a number of backups in testing here. And so I can restore any one of those uh, backups to restore over my database. So that's how we would do a backup and restore. Now, ideally, we'd like those backups to happen automatically, so you don't need to do that um, as a uh, regular occurrence manually. And so what we're going to do is go back there, go to tasks, and say backup. And the easiest way to have this uh, generate a script here is to go to script and say script action to file. So we're going to generate that, and I'm going to call it uh, fullbackup.sql, and then I'll save that. If we have a look in that file that I just saved, uh, we can open it up in Notepad. Uh, so if we say open with Notepad, you can see here it's going to create a backup of our MV Factory database to the disk on that specific location .back, uh, and there's our information for what it's going to do. So that's the file that we generated just by running the script there. Now what we want to do is cause this to automatically run um, on a regular basis, and we can do that using the Windows Task Scheduler. And so here, if we go and select on that, I've already created the task, you could go here and create a new task. Uh, if we look at the parameters for this task, I've set it up um, here with the information. You may want to set it up so that you, it'll run whether the user is logged in or not. You should probably do it that way and uh, include the information there for that. So for the trigger, I've set it up as a daily trigger uh, to happen at 8 p.m. every day. And for our actions, we're going to start a program. And so the program that we're going to start is the SQL command line. Uh, and then we're going to give it some specific parameters. So here, if we say our SQL command line, the uh, program that we're going to run is, so we're going to start a program, it's going to be the sqlcmd.exe, that's the file that we want to run. Now we need to give it some specific arguments. So here if we look at our arguments, we can see that uh, which database we're specifying here. Uh, so it's the local database because I'm running this on the server. The name of the database is mvsql. And the file that we're going to run is that SQL script uh, file that we ran or that we created. So now I have this full backup.sql. And so when I have that information set up, now in my task scheduler, you can see I just ran one here. Uh, so I can see it's next going to run at 8 p.m. tonight. If I wanted to run it right away, I can say run. It'll just go off and do that. Uh, there isn't any sort of interaction or anything. If I refresh this, uh, you can see that my last run was uh, just now at 8.52. And if I go back to my SQL back file, so this is the backup file, you can see that that has generated. And if I go into my management studio and restore, uh, then I'll be able to restore from that 8.52 backup. So at any point, if you need to take up a backup of your database, uh, whether that's because you're making changes and you want to just have a backup, or on a regular basis you want to run a script backup like this, then you want to uh, go to Management Studio, run that backup, or create this script and run it automatically like this.